Today's no good for going out. Of course, but then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, it just so happens that we're doing some recruitment and training for new crew members while we're back. It'll be a first-rate chance to learn the life of a sailor. And of the Crocs. <laughs> oh, that's a wild idea. Unfortunately, this ain't the Wan Wen Bookhouse, kid. As one might expect, we call the other team the Spear of the Crux. Also, they're responsible for handling the fleet's cargo deals. So, what do you think? Which team is for you? <laughs> As I expected, you have a will to protect others. Let's get started. First of all, life on the sea isn't always plain sailing. Injuries and illnesses happen all the time. But what is the single biggest danger facing crew members? Is that your final answer? <laughs> All right, on to the second question. As you've just learned, the fleet plots its route using nautical charts. The charts used by the Crux have additional charts attached. The supplementary chart has lots of lines in various colors for added reference. What is the purpose of these lines? Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, last question. On longer voyages, we have to be especially careful to avoid certain weather hazards that pose a threat to the integrity of the ship and the lives of the crew. For example, water spouts. So my question is, how can we reliably predict water spouts so we can avoid them? Okay, those are all my questions. Do you want to know how you did? <laughs> I gotta say, each time I think I've wrapped my head around how great you are, you surprise me with something new. You got them all correct. They weren't the most difficult questions, but they weren't ones you could bluff your way through either. You've clearly been paying attention to my crew. Hmm, the lighting may still be a problem, but I'm open to persuasion. If you have a suitable place in mind, I can consider it. Just to be clear, I won't necessarily agree. It depends on the place you have in mind. The 
fishing village near Wang Shu Inn? That place is deserted now, isn't it? <laughs> is that a- And let me guess. <laughs> well, you- <laughs> I appreciate- Let's not forget- I, for one, have never encountered a- Stay your journey's far- so if you ever find some- Remember, you'll always- <laughs> I kinda dig- I'm lucky to have- Okay, it's time to get back to our photography. Right, teacher? Come on, let's not- So? All right. Hmm. Now, as to wreck was <laughs> so. You'll always have the captain of- <laughs> I kinda dig it. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Okay, it's time to get back to our photography. Right, teacher? Come on, let's not waste any time. Get it done while you can before I change my mind. So, do I need to strike a pose? What? The nerve! What do you think this is? I don't want to do this whole modeling thing. Hey, cut it out. No more pictures. You sound confident, but don't underestimate the shield of the crux. Gotta admit, though, I like your attitude, kid. Okay, let's get started. First of all, life on the sea isn't always plain sailing. Injuries and illnesses happen all the time. But what is the single biggest danger facing crew members? Is that your final answer? <laughs> All right, on to the second question. As you've just learned, the fleet plots its route using nautical charts. The charts used by the Crux have additional charts attached. The supplementary chart has lots of lines in various colors for added reference. What is the purpose of these lines? Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, last question. On longer voyages, we have to be especially careful to avoid certain weather hazards that pose a threat to the integrity of the ship and the lives of the crew. For example, water spouts. So my question is, how can we reliably predict water spouts so we can avoid them? Okay, those are all my questions. Do you want to know how you did? Congratulations, you... Uh, wait a second, you didn't pass. Were my questions too difficult? Hmm, they didn't seem to be all that hard. Did you get them wrong on purpose, or...? <laughs>
You still have some important things to take care of. As long as you don't know what I was referring to, you'll be safe. So I'm sorry, but I can't tell you for now. Of course, if the day comes when you've traveled, you're welcome to come back here and I'll tell you all about it. You'll always be welcome in the Crux fleet. Thanks. I'll take that. Some rumors have it that the leader- I can't go getting too caught up in my- As the head of the fleet, my t- But then again, the crew isn't- Their excitement today come- All good then. Great. Actually, speaking of Inazuma, I think your good luck must have rubbed off on me on the way over. I made an interesting find on the beach shortly after we parted ways. Let's talk about it over there, where it's a little quieter. So... Gwaley Plains. Huh, I never would have gotten that. How can you tell? Well, this is it. Oh, boys! It's time for your first job. Give this check to the old lady who- Yes, boss! What's up? <laughs> but you- Let's just- You've already helped- Okay, your child- So, where do you think it is? Chingsa Village? I don't see the resemblance at all. How'd you come to that conclusion? Oh, yeah, the chest! <laughs> oh, I got so immersed in our conversation that I forgot all about the main event! Come on, let's open it up and see what- Not exactly what I was looking for. Come on, let's get back to the party. <laughs> <laughs> 